everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing today I am out here fishing with Justin from bite fight anglers he owns a local lure company and I am out here testing his well a few of a few of his lures a few of his designs so wish me luck thanks for coming back do not forget to subscribe like comment and share and as you can see we are in the marsh today but thanks for coming back So what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the water, right? You see any kind of wake or any kind of discoloration, like a dark spot. And also for bait, you see bait jump. Now, if they're torpedoing, you can see them very easy. If they're chasing bait, you can see them very easy. They're just kind of stalking, stalking a red fish and seeing if you can find their school. You know, they're moving constantly. So they might just be circling the area or they might just be moving all around this back lake so I see some bait fish here so I'm keeping an eye on bait fish to see if they get disturbed a little bit of wave and there shouldn't be any oh yeah there he goes right there Woo, he just ran through he just ran through so I'll recast that it's a big guy out here and get him the bite. Let's see. There we go. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. That's a nice one. Another short shaft hook too. So I need to make sure I don't pull the hook. There he goes. Come on, guy. over here too I don't want to scare him <clears throat> get him at it come on nope don't go my drive I mean my rudder I'm baby him because he has that he barely has him hooked on the outside of his mouth I don't want to stretch the hook out so don't really want him to run down again. Come on. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got him. Well. Just fell out. Gonna be in a small slot, I think. Let's see where he's gonna be at. Caught him on a big, big fight, bite, fight angler. It's gonna be 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Nice pretty guy. Water. Because he's grabbing the bottom. Woo! Right here in front of me. See him? Dust off. That's a big red. Oh, there's another one. They're hitting something. There, there they go. School! There's a school. They're rolling. They are rolling about 20 deep.
that a nice one? Yeah. I heard uh, red and white was good out here. Uh-uh. Eight inches of water. Not really too much for him to word for him to go. Except straight. Yep, that's what I thought. I think it's a gar. Oh, really? Yep. We'll see. Yeah, something like that. My size. Oh, 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 oh. Don't get on that line. Oh man, I try to keep him out of it. Oh. Oh, oh. He just take off. He don't like he don't like your kayak around him. <laughs> can't see it. Oh no. Oh. oh dang it, he broke. Oh man. It popped. <laughs> Man, I just rigged up. <laughs> I know. Too dirty. There we go. Got him. Get off there. Flounder. Nope. Speck. I just caught it. No, it's a red. Baby red. Oh, he got off. Ah. What'd you get off for? What a jerk. Premature D hook. Last time I fished here, I guess there's an oyster reef, two cast, one slot flounder, and one slot speck, and two cast. There he goes. Oh. This is a flounder. Oh, nope, nope, not a flounder. Maybe. It's pulling like one. Oh, he got off too. Yep. I had to move my, I had to let my hand off the reel to, uh, to turn. It's a brand new hook too, so I know it's not the hook. I just scared somebody right there. <laughs> two cast, two fish. I called it two cast, two fish. <laughs> that that uh, that one, that last one was probably like eighteen, maybe nineteen inches. He pulled a little bit, but I always I always have my drag loose. So I let him pull, you know. See what he nope. He pulled like a red though. There's another one. Yep. Four cast, three fish. That's yep, that's a red right there. Which way are you going? I let him run. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Swimming at me? Don't go into my kayak. Don't go into my kayak. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. Ugh. 
Oh, he does not like that net. Does not want that net. He ain't done. There we go. If you can make that out right there, gave me a little heart. I got a heart. Nice little red right there. Hey, not the mouth. That water is 93 degrees right here, too. It's hot water, man. Three fish, four cast. Yep. Oh. Uh. 24 and a half. All right, I'm gonna let this my guy little guy make it. Nice little red. All right, everybody, so that's going to do it for me. I met out there with Justin from Bite and Fight Angler. I think I kept calling it Bite Fight, and I know I'll ca I called him Jason several times. But, you know, we had a great day out there on the water. It was a lot of fun. We probably spent close to 12 hours, and we covered a lot of, a lot of miles out there. The water level was extremely low, and there was just tons and tons of bait in the water. Looks like a new hatch. Saw a lot of shrimp tons and tons of mullet i could literally dip my net net down and scoop mullet out it was it was just so thick the lure that i was fishing with the bite and fight angler lure it's a pretty unique design if you can see it right here it has these little ridges on it nice flat tail you see that tail so it gives it a lot of vibration this bait looks very good in the water so if you're out there fishing doesn't matter where we were because I had several reports from Galveston all the way to Port O'Connor and Matagorda. Everybody I heard from said they went to these back lakes and they found a lot of fish. They found a lot of bait, which found a lot of reds. And they had the same kind of difficulties trying to get these guys to bite. But when I was out there, I did see another kayaker. He caught four, four nice slot reds. So the possibilities there. So get out there. Try to hook up. If you're Fish in the marsh area, try to get out there, try to push into one of these back lakes and see if you can find some of those, some of that bait and some of those reds out there. But thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.